Hi there, this is a video tutorial guide on how to rip DVD movies and Blu-ray movies using DVD Fab 5 Platinum. So I'm going to open up the program here. The movie I've included here is Pitch Black and it's a DVD. This program will also work for ripping Blu-ray but I haven't tested it. When you open up the program it's going to show you all the different chapters or part of the DVD in any hidden um, menus uh, such as uh, directors, comments, and extra features. And the very nice thing about this program is that it actually shows you um, which chapter, which part of the DVD you're selecting. It has a little preview box. So I'm just going to disable it here. Now I'm not going to rip the whole DVD. I'm going to go into the title and I'm going to change just choosing chapter 2. So that way if I'm converting it's going to be a little bit quicker because um, I'm just doing a quick demo here. Now, in this feature uh, window, uh, before you start doing anything, is a variety of other things you can choose. On the top right here, you'll see uh, different audio uh, codecs that are included in the DVD. We're going to choose the first one, which is the AC3 5.1. That's typically standard in a DVD. And the nice thing is, if you are having a DVD um, from another country and you want it to have the subtitles. So for example, if you wanted to have the English, Spanish, or French, it will rip them as well directly to the actual output video file that will go on your on HD. Now I don't want any of those, so I'm going to uncheck them. And then I'm going to choose making sure that my uh, setting is set for generic. Don't choose any of the other settings. They're restricted. You can't get a uh, resolution big enough for the HD. Okay, we're going to hit next. It's going to analyze whatever I selected. And you'll notice it's selected chapter 2 to 2. Okay, now, we're going to have to change a few settings. So we're going to choose conversion settings. So I'm going to choose conversion settings here and click it. Okay, the very first thing you're going to do is we're going to change this. And I've played around with this program for a bit now, I'm trying to find uh, particular settings that work with the Omni HD. You, could, you can choose AVI DivX, and you can also choose uh, generic AVI XVID with the MP3 audio codec, but you cannot choose the generic AVI H.264 or the MP MP4 H.264 with the AAC codec. It just won't play on this uh, phone. I'm not sure why. Um, what I found actually worked is instead where it says device generic, change it to Apple TV because the Apple TV will have a much bigger resolution and you can choose from greater settings um, than if you're restricted to, say, the uh, iPhone or iPod setting. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is you can name your demo to whatever you want here. I'm just going to leave it as pitch black. Um, I usually name my file name and title the same. Next thing you want to do is making sure that you never choose one pass. Unless you're short on time, two pass will always give you a better quality video. But if you're short on time, you want a quicker rip, then one pass might be your choice. Okay, I'm going to choose two. Um, I've created two demo videos which you can download. One of them is at 1600 and the other one is at 3000 uh, for your bit rate. Now to be honest, I really think that anything over around 1200 is overkill. If you can play with it, obviously the bigger bit rate um, that you choose, uh, the bigger your file will be. Now for the famous demo helicopter video, I'm just going to pull up here really quick. Okay, there it comes. If we go to the movie inspector, you'll notice it's running at a very high bit rate. But if you think about it, if you're ripping an entire DVD, you're looking at 4 gigs for a rip. And that basically is the size of, the, of uh, a DVD that would fit on a, on a single layer disc. So is it worth it? It's up to you. I'm going to leave it at uh, 1500 for this uh, demo. And you can play around with it for whatever you find is um, suitable. Next thing we're going to change is frame rate. Make sure that if you're in North America, keep the frame rate the same. If you start changing frame rate, you're going to probably have audio sync problems. Not necessarily, but you could run into those problems. So I'm going to keep the frame rate the same, um, which is 29.97 for NTSC. Then the next thing we're going to do is change our resolution settings. So I click on it. And the nice thing is you can change your crop settings if you want. Um, I'm not going to play around with that. 
I'm just going to choose a setting that's close to the 360 by 640 resolution for the Omni HD. And I think the one I chose was the 688 by 298 seemed pretty, pretty good. Now remember, even if it's a little bit over, the Omni will resize it and the Omni will change the aspect ratio if needed. Um, but you can play around with this if you're not very happy with it filling the screen um, or if there's uh, maybe a different setting that you want to try. Okay, hit OK. The next thing you're going to do is change your audio. Um, I'm going to choose 160 and I'm going to leave the volume at, for whatever reason it's boosting it, um, I'm going to put it back down to 100. Changes to 100. Okay. Um, I don't want a sub picture. If you had chosen the um, subtitles, this little menu would be active. Um, I'm not using it, so I'm just going to hit OK. All right. That's basically it. All you have to do next is hit Start. And when you're done, you're going to end up with a MP4 uh, container for each video that would be coded in the H.264 codec. And I've included two demos here, the 1600 and the 3000 uh, bitrate demos, and you're welcome to download them and try them on your phone and see which one you'd like better. Um, but I find DVD Fab 5 a really quick way for ripping movies uh, to the Omni HD.